Module 1, Small Groups at the Heart of Society The phrase, small group at the heart of society, refers to the idea that small groups are a fundamental building block of society and play a significant role in shaping human communication, interaction, and decision-making. This concept is important in the study of group communication, which examines how individuals interact and communicate with each other in small groups, such as families, work teams, social clubs, and other similar groups. Groups in your life Small groups play a significant role in our lives, from the moment we are born until we pass away. According to Lawrence Fry, from birth to death, small groups are interwoven into the fabric of our lives. These groups can help us establish our identity and provide a sense of belonging. In our work lives, we spend a substantial amount of time working with others in groups. This allows us to share ideas, perspectives, and knowledge. Group work can also help us build teamwork skills, establish professional relationships, and achieve common goals. School is another outlet where we encounter group work. In educational settings, Groups can provide opportunities for collaboration, peer support, and knowledge sharing. Through group work, students can develop their problem-solving, communication, and leadership skills. Groups are also valuable problem solvers. By bringing together multiple perspectives and ideas, groups can come up with creative solutions to complex issues. It's important to understand the necessary steps to reach effective solutions when encountering problems in our lives. In the past, people often relied on others to make decisions for them. However, today we have more agency and are empowered to make our own decisions and take control of our lives. This newfound autonomy allows us to better navigate our personal and professional lives. Participating in Groups Participating in groups can be a valuable experience, but it requires an understanding of how to work together effectively. Group members must understand and know how to work towards the group's goals, both in terms of accomplishing the task at hand and managing interpersonal relationships within the group. To achieve the task goals, group members must be able to communicate effectively and coordinate their efforts toward achieving the desired outcome. In addition to the task goals, group members must also be aware of the relational goals of the group. Communication is how group members accomplish both the task and relational goals. Effective communication is essential for establishing trust and building positive relationships within the group. It is also necessary for sharing information, making decisions, and coordinating efforts to achieve the desired outcome. Groups versus individuals as problem solvers. When it comes to problem solving, both groups and individuals have their advantages and disadvantages. However, for certain types of problems, group solutions can be more effective than individual solutions. Groups provide a diverse range of perspectives and ideas, which can lead to more creative solutions. By bringing together individuals with different experiences and expertise, groups can leverage the strengths of each member and identify unique approaches to problem solving. In addition, groups force individuals to become active learners. When working in a group, individuals must engage with the material, share ideas and perspectives, and defend their opinions. This process encourages deeper learning and understanding of the problem at hand, which can lead to more effective solutions. Groups, small groups, teams, and small group communication. Groups, small groups, Teams and small group communication are important concepts in understanding human interaction and collaboration. A group is defined as three or more individuals who have a common purpose, interact with each other, influence each other, and are interdependent. A small group is a specific type of group that consists of at least three people and is small enough for individual members to perceive one another as individuals during an interaction. Typically, a small group consists of three to seven members. Some argue that there is a difference between a small group and a team, although the terms are often used interchangeably. Regardless of the title, it is important to recognize effective groups slash teams from ineffective ones. Communication is a crucial aspect of group interaction, and it is defined as the transactional process in which people simultaneously create, 
interpret, and negotiate shared meaning through their interaction. Small group communication refers to the verbal and nonverbal interaction among members of a small group. Most groups and teams make use of technology to facilitate communication, such as teleconferencing and Skype, which allow for real-time meetings, and internet discussion and email, which allow for interaction at different times. However, these mediated forms of communication often lack social presence, which can impact the effectiveness of communication. Classifying groups by their major purpose Classifying groups by their major purpose is important in understanding the reasons why people join groups and the underlying motivations that drive group behavior. People join groups for various reasons such as love and affection, personal growth and self-awareness, similar interests, and completing tasks. Psychologist Will Schutz identified three basic human needs that underlie personal motivations, inclusion, affection, and control. Groups can be categorized according to the primary need they fulfill for their members. Groups are classified based on the reasons they exist. Primary groups form to meet the needs of inclusion and openness. The sole purpose of a primary group is for group members to associate with one another for the joy of fellowship while secondary groups form to complete control and problem-solving needs. However, no group is purely primary or secondary. Many types of secondary groups exist to fulfill specific needs. Support groups, for example, help individuals understand and address personal issues while learning groups help individuals understand certain topics. Organizational groups exist to solve organizational problems, while committees perform specific services. Quality control circles address issues of job performance and work improvement, and self-managed work teams manage their work schedules and procedures. Being an ethical group member Being an ethical group member means adhering to standards and rules for appropriate behavior as a group member or leader. Here are some factors to consider. Willingness to communicate Ethical group members should be open and honest in their communication with the group. Treating each other with respect, ethical group members should treat their fellow members with respect and dignity, regardless of their differences in opinions or beliefs. Using critical thinking skills, ethical group members should think critically about the information presented to them and evaluate it objectively. Demonstrating commitment to the group, ethical group members should be committed to the goals and objectives of the group. They should be willing to work collaboratively with others and contribute to the group's success. The Participant-Observer Perspective A participant-observer perspective is a unique approach to group participation where a member takes part in group activities while also observing the group dynamics and adapting their behavior accordingly.